an excellent way to connect with your students over the school closure time is to use asynchronous communication such as a Flipgrid tool. This basically means that you can post the Flipgrid in your course and students can come in and they can give video responses at their convenience. So not everybody needs to be online at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to um, get this set up and enter it into your Schoology course. So go ahead and log in and in our district we sign in with Google and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to sign into my Flipgrid. Um, one thing that I recommend is that you have a grid that's used for specific topics. So I have a um, an Amsterdam grid. I have one for professional learning. Since this is a new situation, um, I'm going to make a new grid and I'm going to call it distance learning. So this is like a folder that all of my grids will go under that relate to distance learning. So I can create as many as I want. Um, and they'll all be filed. So, okay. How do we want... So I want my kids to sign in using their Google um, account. So... Let's go there. You can change the name here if you want to, or you can leave it the same. I'm just going to leave it the same for this. Um, so you make sure you have the, the at, at whatever is the response for your Google sign-in. Um, for us, it's at colonial.k12 and then the rest of it. Um, but it may be different for your school, so make sure you know what that ending is to their Google login. Um, hit Next. And then my grid is ready to go. So I'm going to go to my grid and you can see I've got like this is where everything is going to be. Let's get rid of, um, well, I can keep say hello. This is going to be the first one, but I can edit it. Um, say hello to your friends. Let me delete this. Say hello to your friends. So this is just a way they can come in, they can talk, um, and then we can just give them like a little a welcome. So I like this where it says, um, tap the green button to record a video, um, say hello, share a fun fact about yourself. You can add a picture. This one's pretty cute, so I'm just going to leave it. You can add a topic. You can add any Google documents, any websites, anything like that. Turn it on, video moderation, which means you have to approve it before it goes live that's totally up to you you can set dates when it opens and when it closes you can make it active frozen or hidden so when you don't want kids to respond anymore you just freeze it um, and then you hit update topic and now I want to get this in Schoology so I'm going to hit share and I've got this link here but what I really want is this embed code um, or actually, you know what, when we try this in a classroom, let's do the copy first. Because if we embed, sometimes that causes um, issues for kids. So I'm going to show you both ways and then you can see what works best for you and your students. So I'm in, in my Schoology course where I want to put it. I'm going to hit Add Materials. I'm going to add a file. I'm going to use that Flipgrid link. I'm going to paste it. Um, give it a title so um you you may want to turn this off display in school g sometimes that um causes problems in our district so i just am in the habit of turning that off so i click um okay or save and then i go down to the bottom and it should be right here so it will take the kids directly to um, flipgrid when they click that link they have to sign in with their google account And then once they do that, they'll be on um, the appropriate Flipgrid. Now, since I'm, um, and then they just click that green uh, plus button to go ahead and start recording. Uh, I hope this helps. And um, I hope that you're able to get your kids talking through video during this time.